Hello YouTube, Brent Peter here with you. Coming to you from the Casa, the Shangri-La, Villa Shangri-La here in Dumaguete, or in between Dumaguete and Valencia. Just got back from Valencia, went up there and fell hard, fell hard off the wagon. Had me a sub, uh, ham and cheese sub sandwich, french fries. Then I snuck around to a different booth and got me a caramel mocha latte and a brownie and I brought I brought two snicker bars home with me so yep I did good for about a week and then I crashed and burned but I need to carb up anyway so we'll see what that does to the scale tomorrow but uh, yeah just thought I'd check in with y'all tell you what I've been what I've been up to they kicked me out today about 11 o'clock because it was a, a cleaning day she she asked me this morning said what time you we need to clean what time's good for you. I said, would you just tell me and I'll get the hell out of here. So I, I got out of here about 11 o'clock and went to Dumaguete and uh, I had to have some, I found me a print shop, had to get my, the, the deal the bank sent me, had to get it printed off, sign it, took a picture of it and emailed it back. So maybe, maybe that's all good to go, I hope. It's hard to stay on the same page with that stuff being 13 hours different. So hopefully, hopefully that's got everything. I wasted a whole day just waiting for the email. I kept checking my email, and I, I just typed in uh, the name of my bank in the in the search bar, and it, it didn't come up. And, uh, it was getting kind of frustrated, and was fixing. I waited all the way last night till the bank opened, was fixing to call them. I thought I better check that email one more time, and I got to scroll scrolling through there real slow, and the lady that it was under her her name first. And sure enough, she'd sent it 20 hours ago. So, <laughs> so I was getting, getting stupid for no reason. But, uh, and I got to reading on there, and it says it may take 30 days, even after, even after, after the fact. And they got me for about four or five hundred. So that's a pretty good little hickey. So, anyway, yeah, today was pretty uneventful too. I didn't like I said I just run to town, did that kind of, uh, slow played for about an hour, and then I come back here and. Uh, chilled by the pool. It's hotter than hell today. Somebody said it was 40 degrees Celsius, and that's that's like 104 degrees. I don't I don't think it was quite that hot, but but it could have been. It was, it was hot. Uh, like I say, I've been just resting and relaxing, trying to trying to recharge my battery for this this whole past week. You know, I've only only got out a few times, and it's just been pretty much to go eat or I did go to uh, checked out that Robinson's place, but that little mall but that's about all i've done all week uh it's and I've, I've had to make myself do that but uh i don't know it's just been been a pretty hectic last couple of months that that's that's a that's a long that's a lot of running for me i usually don't i don't get out much and uh i was go 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 so uh just can't let it keep me down just gotta uh, I think this last week's gonna help me. Help me. I just been, I don't know, anxiety and shit just kind of, uh, kind of catches up with you after a while. But uh, I went to Valencia tonight, ate dinner. Uh, think I'm good to go. So, uh, I'm gonna talk to you about these. These a uh, uh, bunch of you has asked me about the the dating here. And folks, I can't tell you about the dating here. I, I hadn't I hadn't dated anybody here. Uh, I have got on one of them dating dating apps and you know swipe left, swipe right, you know, uh, get bored and then they'll message and then I kind of lose interest after that and I don't know when it when it when it comes time either I do or they do or something somebody does uh, I've I've I don't know I've messaged I don't know how many twenty or thirty of them probably uh, or been in messages with them. Uh, but I think they'd prefer you to be. I think they'd prefer you to be in the United States instead of here. By the time they they find out you're here, that's when you either get ghosted or it's oh uh, my kid's sick or my water buffalo sick or that's, I'm just like well, damn the bad luck. Holler at me when you get that this shit straightened out. That ain't none of my responsibility. I ain't trying to jump in no deal like that. If if it <clears throat> if it gets that far. Uh, I think they'd prefer you either in the United States or damn near dead when you get here. Uh, the closer you are to death, 
the less they gotta gotta deal with you. I think that's about how this deal really works. And I think the the younger you are, the the more trouble you'll probably probably have uh, finding one over here. Now and if you're in the United States, you're probably good to go because they just want you sending money. I imagine uh, you don't have to argue with your ass when you're over there, but uh, when you when you when your boots on the ground here. Uh, I don't know. It just seems a little. If not, hell, they'll be on a, the next island or whatever. And I'm not traveling anywhere for one. I don't care if I find one or not. I really don't. Uh, I've got a pretty good deal going. It'd have to be a hell of a deal. Uh, like I say, when I come over here, I wouldn't, wouldn't even looking for it. This time, five years ago, when I planned on coming, that, I, that's exactly what I wanted to do was uh, find me one, settle down, blah blah blah. But uh, not so much this time. I don't know. After you, after you've been alone for, for so long, you kind of get used to it, and you. I don't. I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing. It could be both. Uh, but like, like when I was in, when I was <coughs> uh, in Tagaytay, there was one message to me said, "I'm an hour away," and I'm like, "Fuck, that's an hour. I ain't. You come over here, be all right, but I ain't. I ain't." going nowhere out of my way there's too many there's too many of them that are that are right here that if you if you especially if you if you drink beer you won't have no problem going to the bars and pulling one out of there but that's not my scene anymore thank god uh used to be uh if i still drank hell i'd, I'd probably be married by now but i don't and i'm not trying to find i'm not trying to find that kind of girl anyway so uh like i say don't care if I find one. I mean, if I do find, if I don't find, uh, say it's no sweat off my off me. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna. I do get bored every once in a while. And be laying in bed about ten o'clock at night, and that's when my swiper gets a little happy. Go swiping left, swiping right, and hell, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how. I'm not much on technology, so hell, I'll catch myself trying to trying to scroll through there and I'll scroll up and let some bitch say like super like and I'll be like whoa whoa no and sure enough it'd probably be the ugliest some bitch on there uh, if not I, sometimes I can figure out what I did and sometimes I can't so <clears throat> I don't know I think you'd be better if you if you're wanting to meet meet girls or whatever I think you'd be better off just come over here and do it in person don't even mess with them dating sites pretty much what I'm trying to say I don't think you have any trouble at all uh Finding a girlfriend or a wife or whatever you're looking for over here, if you just if you just want to, but them dating sites, I think they're they're pretty much a scam. They're wanting some long distance money or or you know they're. I I heard a deal too, and and I think it was in I think it was in Manila maybe, Chinese owned company, uh, had a bunch of people held hostage, kind of like they they blamed the Tate brothers for. They was running some some dating app side out of there, but these Chinese people had these Filipinas in there held hostage, uh, making, them, making them do like 100, 100 and something employees or whatever, trying to make, kind of, tra wasn't trafficking them, but was making them work uh, one of these dating app deals. I didn't get all the details, but I did hear that, no shit. So anyway, folks, that's, that's that's my opinion on the dating sites. Like I say, and I think if you're over here, the older you are, the probably better it is. Uh, like I say, if you're if you're damn near dead, you've probably got a hundred of them just lined up for you, uh, trying to catch that. There's me going uh, again, uh, waiting for you to waiting for you to die so they can get that money. I imagine. I'm just I'm just bullshitting. I, no, I'm not really bullshitting. It, there's a lot of that over here. You see, you see, seventy-year-olds with with these young women all the time, and you're like, yeah, something. Uh, and I can't, I can't, I can't push myself to to do that. I, I, there's no way I could date somebody younger than my kids. I just couldn't do it. And there's lots and lots of. Now, if I was seventy, I probably could. You know what the hell? Ain't got nothing else. I mean, shit, you probably ain't got two or three years left. Might as well enjoy the shit out of it. Ain't like, you probably, that's all yours with ATM, I imagine. But at least you'd have some pretty good company. So when I say that, I'm not knocking it, but I know, you know, 
all of this love over here starts out fake as hell and that's not, that's just not something i'm i'm looking for i don't i don't uh -uh. I, I i just got out of a about a year long relationship had a, and had a had a damn good uh had a damn good old gal just the timing was off you know i just got through getting my kids graduated and she's got one in elementary so this but she was a dandy she was a dandy and I, hell i loved her but uh like I say, it was just two different, two different, the timing was wrong. So I come over here and I've been wanting to come over here for about five years and, and uh, finally got my youngest graduated. So here I am. So got my buddies coming over here next week. Uh, flies out around the first. Probably take him a day or two to get here. So looking forward to that. I hope he gets. I hope he brings me some snuff. I don't know if I'm not. I'm not sending him no money. So I just hope. I just hope he. Hope you're watching this, Aaron, and uh, just decide to bring me some snuff, and I'll pay you when you get here. Because I'm not hooking my other ATM card to that WhatsApp. I mean, Cash App or Messenger. I'm done with that. I pretty much narrowed it down to either uh, MetaPay's what my bank thinks MetaPay. Agoda or uh, I know I did it again Airbnb and I hadn't used Airbnb in over a month so I really don't think that was it the only reason she seen Airbnb on, Airbnb on there was because when I was at Tagate I changed my my booking from six or seven days to three days so they had to reimburse me money so that's only that was the only charges that she was she the only three things she could see on there was Agoda, MetaPay, and 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 Airbnb. So I really I, I really think it's that MetaPay or or hell I don't know how they get your information, but it wasn't no scanner at no ATM card because I hadn't been using uh, hadn't been using my ATM card. I've been using that Charles Schwab card. I did use it my atm card at, at vietnam because i was having hell finding one that would work because i kept trying to get out too much in vietnam and for some reason they don't think you need more than about 100 at a time so but i used my other atm card i didn't use that one i've like I say i've had that one locked up in my wallet and the only reason i used it for a go to and airbnb and metapay is because it's hooked to my app it's not like I grab the card and put in my number. So I don't, that's it. I have no idea. But it says UPS. And some, it says something about GA, a bunch of numbers in GA. So I assume that meant Georgia. It may have nothing to do with Georgia. But it's not the uh, Postal Service or, or the, the FedEx UPS. It's, it's, I think it's just bullshit because they just, about, about 10 or 15 of them in a row, they just, Ninety dollars, ninety dollars, fifty dollars, twenty dollars, ninety dollars, and it it added up to over four hundred dollars. So uh, pretty much wiped out that whole account before. It's not like I caught it until I seen a my credit card payment came out. It put me a hundred in a hole. So I thought, what the hell? And I got to looking, and that's what it was. And somebody said, well, why don't you hook your you know get alerts well i had all that i had i i used to get alerts but as soon as i took my sim card out it's not it may be sending it to my sim card or to my phone but i don't have my sim card in so so that's that's that and i'm gonna i'm gonna give you all another tip when you when you come over here if you come over here don't <clears throat> my deal was i paid off uh, all but one credit card before i came over here and I was like, I'm not charging anything, so that's the reason my Airbnb and my Agoda are hooked to my debit cards because I just didn't want to. I didn't want to acquire any credit card debt. And the, now the MetaPay has to be hooked to your actual bank account. They don't do credit. You'd be sending people money all the time, I guess. But that's the only reason that was like that. And all my shit was was set up to to give me alerts, but when you take your SIM card out, it, it might. Once I get back to America, and, or once I.
plug my SIM card in, I might get a hundred alerts going ding, 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 you know. But I didn't, I, I wasn't in there. And when I put my SIM card in so I could try to get a hold of the bank, nothing popped up, so I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just... But I didn't have it in there very long because my Verizon charges you 10 bucks a day, so I just tried to tried to call the bank. It didn't work, so I took it right back out. So luckily, my my other phone. Uh, I th well, this one's this one's Globe. This one's smart. The smart one. I was able to just dial the X code and and it dialed them right up. So all that worrying about the the. Well, it's still I, I still suggest you keeping your number because of them codes. Like if something security happens, you know they always want to send you a one-time code to make sure it's you or blah blah blah. I'm sure you can do the same thing through email, but mine's set up like that, and it just just makes me feel good knowing that if 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 I have to, I can I can just put my SIM card in, it cost me ten dollars, and boom, I got all the information I need. So. Anyway, I hope that I hope that fills y'all in and, and maybe helps somebody that's traveling in the future. And uh, I know I'm saying, uh, 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 I'm going to work on that, I promise. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching. This is Brent's Trippin'. Peace.